Um, so my name is Debbie Farfrop. I'm the manager at ABSED, which is one of the neighbourhood network schemes that operate in Leeds. We work to help the social isolation and loneliness of older people within our um, boundary areas, which is Yeadon, Geisley and Rawdon for us. Um, I've said uh, 30 years old this year, this year. Um, so I've been there, seen it and done those things. Um, and when I joined I've said, which was just before the pandemic, I joined from Bramley Elder the Action, um, which was another big um, neighbour network scheme. So I've been within neighbour networks for the past about 15, 17 years personally. And as I say, joined I've said who were um, at the time when I joined about 26, 27 years old, so been here a couple of years. Um, and I've said it had a bit of a troubled past for, the, for quite a number of years before I joined. Um, we've had some trouble with funding, as of many charities, and some of the work that we've done has perhaps become a little bit um, lost in the past. We've, we've not moved on and not progressed um, very much over the last few years. Um, so as I say, I joined at the beginning of the pandemic and joined... I've said at a turbulent time and then went into the pandemic, which completely turned everything upside down on its head. Um, so we made the decision to try and use this for some good, basically, and made the decision to have a big review, a big organisational review of what we do, why we do it, why we're here, you know, what we plan to do in the future. Mm. And we started that with a couple of um, like away day sessions with the staff and the board. And something that came out of that is we are a very small organisation and how can a small organisation grow without you know multiple members of staff and everything else that we can't afford to do and two of the elements that came out of that was ABCD um, thoughts and processes and co-production so we wow. went along the lines of um, looking into reviewing our organisation with both of them thoughts as kind of um, platforms as you like to start steering where we wanted to go mm. and that's when we invited you along. <laughs> Yes, but also I think it, you'd already had experience of ABCD, hadn't you, with um, Bramley Elderly Action? Absolutely, yeah. So I'd been involved with it in various different realms and different places um, for a number of years, seen it at different levels as well. Um, and even, I mean, coming to I've said, we've, we've done an ABCD project with I've said in the past. Um, so, yeah, kind of I've said itself had some kind of... Um, principles behind ABCD training um, and the, the, the thoughts behind it um, but the same as anything sometimes a lot of work goes into a project and when a project then gets left the work gets left as well and you know one thing with ABCD is it's got to keep evolving and keep moving and keep up to date um, and keep kind of the, the thoughts of people that are involved in it needs to keep evolving as well to make sure you keep up with the new ideas and the new stuff that's out there in your communities as well. And it's, it can be quite a challenge, I think, you know, as, as we said on the day, um, the, I, the understanding of ABCD isn't always that easy because it sort of brings into question, doesn't it, what the usual ways of working can be like, especially if we're running a service and we've been there doing it for so long to start to have to think differently can be quite challenging. Definitely it does, yeah. I mean, it goes back to kind of right early days of when you say, okay, okay, this is the problem. How do we fix it? And that's what we've always been told what to do in our business. And that is what you go on and you, you paid to come up with solutions. And sometimes yeah. that's how you've always been kind of, you, the, the brain has been keyed into, mm -hmm. you know, this is the problem. How do I fix it? Or how, what can we put in place to fix it? And it's mm. about, you know, obviously changing that that thought yeah. process on what how you do it. Mm. So when when you gave me a call that time, what was sort of at the back of your mind as to what is it that you were wanting out of our contact, really? So I think because of how I had kind of ideas from my past um, as to how ABCD worked and the kind of thought processes on it, I think I already had my preconceptions if you like as to what I thought that could help I've said with um, mm. but I think right at the early days I kind of said I don't want to give anybody my ideas and my thoughts because I want them to build from what the team kind of think and what mm. all the different stakeholders want from you know their kind of 
learning as they went through the process as well rather than me saying oh we can start with this and we can build from this idea and we can do x y and z um but, and, and that's exactly what's happened to be fair we kind of everybody's come with their own ideas on what it could have been um some of them have been very small and um you know little ideas that just spark off a little interest um to some quite big projects that we've, we've started to put in place as well mm. and the the day that we had i suppose was um a little while in coming i guess with various reasons people have been off sick and all of that and you've been doing some work anyway i think either behind the scenes as well but i think it also was interesting i think people you know were at different different levels of understanding i guess isn't it and that, how how did all that sort of work out on the day? Did the day work for you in terms of what um, it did because we, we went right back to the baseline. We we had a chat before and didn't we and decided we had to start right at the beginning and even though everybody had different um thoughts on what A B C D was, my initial when I said, Okay dokey, let's have a look at A B C D, oh we we've done that, we've been there. Um we we've got um a list on our database of all the different places in in in, yeah. in and around our area like okie dokie so what is that list and it was a 10 year old list that nobody had updated for 10 years of physical buildings so it was assets as in what people see as assets and it was yeah. these are the things that are in our area that can help us and that was the mindset of some people within the organization as yeah. to what you know the assets of our community actually were and for them to think almost outside the box to be fair because it were a quite new idea to people that you know people's resources and people's facebook list is an asset you know who people know and what 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 they can bring to the table is an asset then kind of thoughts were quite new to a lot of people and um, so that that it was nice really to have that re-sparked from the diff from the training that we did with yourself mm. and different people's ideas on what that asset you know mm. collection of assets mm. could have been um realizing what we already had as well when we yeah. kind of went away afterwards and said okay okay what now we know what the assets are what assets have we already got so then what assets can we go out and see if they yeah. do exist you know how do we go about that so that was quite interesting as well to get people thinking yeah. differently yeah and i think that idea of actually people are the asset isn't it and everything that they've got in there and in here too yeah. is key yeah 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 i thought it was also quite interesting you know when we did the the sort of the, the work a bit further into the afternoon or the morning um around the strategy and that type of thing and getting people thinking about you know, their roles in the organization and what it was that they were contributing to and how that might sort of change did that sort of resonate do you think in the end it definitely did yeah so just to kind of give a kind of bit of a context as to what we've done after the training because that probably puts into effect what happened at the training if you like and um, we did our full staff restructure on the back of lots of different things but the, the training that we did we yourself as well and we've now got three roles so it was ella's michelle's and stacy's roles and um, which is activities volunteers and um, members and um, they were the three roles that we originally had um we've moved them roles now into different not different roles but we've increased them so each of them roles have become coordinators with yeah. an added element to help with where we want to go in the future so ella's role has become activities and communities and um, so she now goes out and works with people in the communities to say okay this is what i've said offer this is what Airbra offers and we kind of try and bring them together now and um, likewise with michelle so michelle's now volunteers and communications so bringing all them different people mm -hmm. together yeah. and collecting everybody's thoughts and ideas and emails yeah. even you know for this is happening who wants to be involved kind of thing yeah. um she's oh, wow. doing that bit and stacy's role is now a uh, membership and outreach and um, so she goes out to all the different places saying what we do and how we do it and who wants to be involved who wants to come along with us you know this is the anchor network bit that we've kind of built mm. upon i think it was just in the early days last time i spoke to you mm. um so we've now come on to be the anchor network for air airbra um and it, like i say it's still very very early days but they're the yeah. three roles that we've we've kind of developed out of that that kind of stuff well it's interesting because again like as you said you obviously you know you clearly identified the the bits that connect up around you know working with communities the outreach and the communication and all of those sorts of things all knit together don't they 
Um, right, that's, that's really interesting, actually. So how would you see, I suppose, going forwards? Um, I suppose I've said working in a different way. So be... for us, we've, so the end bit of our reorganisation was a big um, planning workshop that we did over four days at Christmas. So it's literally just happened um, and from that. So we've now got our new activities programme that we're launching and a relaunch in April. Okay. So we've gone from having nine activities to we've now got 32 activities and wow. um, which we're going to relaunch so it's activities and services so not everything we have to do has to be a physical group downstairs we've learned and discovered and um, so some we, we did that before but it's just kind of shifting people's thought processes on um our services that we offer are quite different as well and we've it's, it's not put them into an hierarchy but we've got three different elements of what we do now as well so we've got the um, high needs groups that we have that are run by staff and are um, professional groups, if you like, so mental health groups, dementia groups, things like that. And then we've got our core um, social and physical classes that we run. So they're now run um, probably at the moment about 75% volunteers. So volunteers have come in. So we, we did um, stakeholder consultations, we did community consultations. We did questionnaire out to all the stakeholders to basically say, what, what do you want? What do you want to do? And how do you want us to do it? What do you want to be involved in? What can you add to the pot? Um, so we come up with all these different ideas. Um, and we've now got, as I say, the, from what we could physically do, which were the nine activities, we've now got 32 because we're not physically running them all. We're not physically involved in them all. Some of them is just a signposting to other places that we're doing and we're supporting them either through transport or we're supporting them through the mental health element of something else or we're supporting the carers to be able to go to the dementia group with people that have dementia mm. so it's how we can support other people to do things for themselves so it's kind of the, the switch of i think doing for one of the di diagrams that you did yeah where they're doing for and doing with um and that's what we decided we're doing so some of it we do have to do for people that's an element of our work yeah. but a big chunk of it is now doing with people mm. um, and then coming along with them to do it and the new stuff that we're doing which is the consultancy stuff still through the um anchor network um starting with what 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 have you got what can we help you with it doesn't necessarily have to be you know what yeah. we're saying we want it's it's what do you need what do you want and how can we help develop that tell me a little bit more about that the anchor uh, but the role. the anchor network yeah, you know, so it, your consultancy role in that yeah That's so it's it's come about at the back of the covid work that we've done so we signed up to be the community care um, hub they called us um, during um, COVID and we got an influx of volunteers that came to help us when I say influx I'm talking like nearly 300 volunteers <laughs> it was huge um, luckily in our area we didn't need that there wasn't wasn't that much but what we said were all this coming together of people and coming together ideas and people putting their hand up to say I want to be involved in something we can't just let it disappear at the end of you know Covid's mm. finished and everybody's going back to life mm. and there is an element I mean it's dropped off we've now got I think we've got 47 volunteers that are involved Good in the anchor number. network absolutely um, and what the anchor network basically is it's it's almost like an ABCD project in itself it's we're saying we're here we're kind of the the anchor, if you like, for anything else that's going on. So anybody coming in through statutory services, so um, Leeds City Council, the NHS, etc., etc., often people come with ideas of a project. So we want to do this. Well, actually, come and have a chat with us and see what's already there, see what people are already doing, see what assets we've got in the area that can we can pull together. Um, and hopefully we kind of think that might be funding that comes down and we can distribute that out. So we might act as the, the kind of main gatekeeper, if you like, for, for that funding. Um, a lot of people that we've we did the consultation work and a lot of groups and organisations that come forward were unconstituted. There were small Facebook groups that you know have started something and kind of not able to kind of take it to that next step so we've helped them get on with voluntary action leads right. and get onto some training go on to constitute and getting a bank account etc etc so it's us helping mm. them in return they've come back and now helped us by doing one of the projects that we're running for the yeah. Dementia Cafe and um, so that's the idea kind of us yeah. giving them 
not necessarily resources, but more time to say, we've, we've done this. For instance, one of the groups have used our policies, uh, data protection policies, mm -hmm. to be able to get onto um, database sharing thing that they needed to be on to do something else. So mm -hmm. because we were able to give them hours and say, this is what we've got, tweak it to make sense to you. It's already there. You know, the, the hard right. work's been done for you, so to speak. Right. Um, so they've now come back to us and said, okie dokie, what, what, what can we now be part of? Um, now, now we've got constituted and we've got our own bank account and we help them get some grassroots funding and things like that. Yeah. It's all about relationships again, isn't it? All of it. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 It is. Mm. Yeah. That's really, that's really, really interesting, actually. Because again, as you say, you know, you can see how um, an ABCD mentality can create so much more than just, well, you know, we're limited to the services we can offer. And that's yeah. limited by the funding and limited by the people and so on and so forth, which tends to be the traditional style or traditional understanding. Once mm -hmm. you start to open that up, you know, like you say, you, know, you can do so much more. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've had much smaller things going on as well. So I don't know if I told you about some of the groups that we've got. So we have a group called Cooper and Company. And the idea was always it was a space for people to come and do their own thing in, if you like. Um, so we've opened that up a little bit more now. So we've now got a, an offshoot arts and crafts group, group that come in, use our space, and our members get to reap all the benefits of all these different people coming in. But we've got an arts and crafts group. We've got um, a WIST group that's come into right. that group. And it's different groups coming into our group that's already sat there. We've got a building. We've got yeah. tea and coffee. We've got, you know, um, transport to bring members that are interested in taking part but they bring, you know, their little bits because they need a space to be in. And all they're offering is what we've kind of said to people is you can have the space, you can have the facilities that we've got. All we ask is you share your skills with somebody that comes and asks, you know, yeah. if they're interested. And I'm not saying everybody's interested in everything, um, but, you know, they kind of, they, they just mix and mingle. Um, so mm. we've done little bits like that as well with the, the different ideas that we've got. That's fantastic. Because again, it, yeah, a little resource can go so much further than that way, can't it? Absolutely, yeah. Made. Yeah. Wow. And it's sorry, I'm just going to say it's changing the way that we think about it as well, because usually we would have that big hall that we can get 80 people in the big hall that we've got, you know, and we're sat there with a group of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why would we want to do that when somebody's doing it out of the front room because they haven't got nowhere to go, mm. you know? Mm. Or they haven't got enough people to come because people don't know about it so we can help with the advertising of it and things like that. Yeah. It's just spreading the, the load a little bit more, isn't it? Absolutely. As, as you say, then it actually does start to place you, as I've said, as the hub, you know, with the ability to make all these things happen. Too, mm. isn't it? Which I suppose is always going to be, you know, part and parcel of the process, isn't it? You're, you're, you're providing a service too in that regard. Yeah. Um, wow. So amazing. It's been good. That, <laughs> well, good. Yeah. Like I say, um, yeah. we, we seem to have um, run riot since last time I spoke to you, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, when was that? That was sort of uh, early October. Yeah. yeah. September, October, sometime, I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, in the end. So, yeah, I've been busy then in the last <laughs> yeah. <little> Christmas. <laughs> so, so, what next for, for you and Outset? Um, so next is our relaunch, well, the official relaunch of what we've done. Um, so relaunching the whole, the whole of the new service, really. So we've got a big professional relaunch at um, Eden Town Hall, hopefully. Okay. Um, we just put in the um, logistics of it all together. Um, so we've got our new logo, which were one of the big things. I don't know if we were yeah. talking about that last time I spoke to you, but we did that. And um, that was the first kind of co-produced thing that we did. So we put it out as a competition to have a new logo. And we said from us, the only thing that we want is to, because we thought our old logo was a little bit ageist with the walking stick and the crooked man. Yeah. So we said the only proviso we will put on it is it's, it's not to be ageist. So we kind of blew it wide open and put it out there. And we ended up having four different people coming together. So we had a volunteer, a member of staff, um, a lady that was just part of the community that got on board and one of our volunteers. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to plug my computer in. Um, and all four of them came together to produce our new um, logo. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'll have to look out for that then. So that's going to be launched, is it? On your... 
Well, officially we launched the, the relaunch in April, um, but we get we actually get our hands on it. Um, the, the person that's making the logo and designing it for us um, with the ideas um, is the end of January, so we'll have that real oh, soon. Wow. But we're yeah. getting a new website um, to kind of promote everything that we're doing. Um, so yeah, a lot of like I say, we've, we've been through a hard time, but mm. hopefully going to turn it around and get something yeah. good out of it. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Wow, that's a uh... Huge story. <laughs> it's some good stuff. <laughs> some really good stuff there. That's amazing. So actually, one of the things which I did want to also say to you is that, um, yeah, it would be really, really good if you, you know, could, could spare some time um, to, to join in with the ABCD forum as well. Just so that what we're trying to do now is to, um, you know, involve and broaden this, community of practice you can say so it's not just about the you know the abcd pathfinders and only if you're a community builder and that type of thing because i think as, as you're saying you know lots of organizations are starting to think and work in a different way now mm. and i think we really do need to try and pull in and reflect all the good practice that is sort of happening out there and that's the key thing so even just being able to you know tell people the sort of process you've gone through the the results of this as you've done and hopefully this you know the recording as a case study we can really push out there as well and it's just giving people you know a really really good example just in your own words as you've been saying you know how this thing actually happens mm. and that's really really good that's, yeah if you let us know when yeah. they're on and how to get involved in them certainly try yeah 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 that's great Great. Thank you, Debbie. Thanks for, for that. That's really good. No problem at all. Yeah.